blend embossing powders are such fun embossing powders to use and Wild Embossing Powders has a whole host to choose from. Each time you use them you get visually stunning and unique patterns that can really take a design up a notch. Today I'm showing you four easy ways to use them in your paper crafting but they would also make perfect powders for your mixed media projects. I'm Verity and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, why not think about subscribing so you don't miss out on my next video. In today's video, I'm using three different colour blend powders. Black Magic, Parissa and Fizz from the Confetti Trio. These powders contain a mixture of colours, but also a mixture of different size embossing powders. So this can be a mixture of fine or normal embossing powders with more chunky powders in the mix as well. It's so fun to see these chunky powders melt and then mix into the fine of a normal powder, which often is the base colour of the pot. For the first technique, we can use the powders to emboss layered die cuts. These embossed die cuts can create real amazing focal elements to a card and the powder will just shine out. I have die cut the also new Mega Love die three times out of white cardstock and I've used Gina K Connect glue to adhere the layers together. Next I'm taking my clear ultra slow dry embossing pad from Wow and smooshing this onto the layered die cut covering it in ink. The first powder I'm using is the Fizz Colour blend from the Confetti Trio. This has a beautiful red pink base to it with large chunks of white and silver powder mixed in. So as the chunky powder melts you get a speckled look to the embossing. So for larger dyes like this I give two to three layers of the embossing powder to get a smooth bold and dimensional look. So just go back with your ink pad, reapply the powder and heat set doing this two to three more times. Once you heat set it, it looks like there's flecks of confetti speckled throughout the embossing. It is really fantastic to see in real life. So for the second card, you can use colour blend powders to emboss solid stamps. Now you can use these powders on any of your stamping, but remember they contain large chunks of powders, so they won't keep the fine details you'll see when you're using fine intricate stamp designs, so just remember that and bear that in mind when using them. The bold spaces in the leaves of the Auto New Leaf Canopy stamp set though is great for this technique as it allows that powder to melt without distorting the stamped image. So I've placed the two leaf stamps into my Misty and I'm stamping these with the clear embossing ink onto white cardstock. For this card I'm covering the images with Parissa embossing powder. So this has a lovely copper base to it, the finer powder, with chunkier gold and silver powders mixed in. And as I kept my stamps in my Misty, I could go back and stamp it again to build two to three more layers of the powder up. This allows for more of the chunkier powder to melt in and create a lovely blend between the colours. It also creates more dimension to the leaves. So this powder works really well with these leaves because I think it gives a very autumnal look to the leaves. But also I think it would make great powder to make a sort of a rusty look to projects. Technique 3 uses the colour blend embossing powders to create background panels. So this technique really shows off the stunning effect of the powders as they melt. To create the panel, apply ink to a piece of white cardstock. And as we are going to cover up the card, this is a great way to use up any scraps of cards if you have any to hand, because anything messy on the card will just be covered up by the powder. I'm using black magic here and this consists of fine black powder with chunks of gold and silver embossing powder. This would make a perfect night sky background as the gold and silver are like the stars in the sky really. Again cover this with ink and powder two to three more times to get good coverage. I think this is my favourite powder out of the three because when it's melted it's just so fun to see it watch and change with that colour of the silver and gold just starting to pop. The last technique for today is showing you that once you've created an embossed panel like we did in technique three, you can then die cut from those panels. So this is great when you've got smaller dies, which would probably be a bit too fiddly to try and emboss like we did in technique one, but you still want that colour blend look to your die cuts. 
So I'm using the Alta New Fine Alphabet dies and my glass mat to spell out the word congrats. And then I'm using the lines on my mat to align the letters to make sure they're straight. And then placing a piece of washi tape over the top just to keep all the letters together. This allows me to now pick up all the letters and position it over the panel, so ensuring my letters will cut straight. Once I've run this through my die cutting machine, I'm removing the letters, but making sure that I keep the inners of the letters, for example, in the A's and the O's. So to turn this into a card, I'm foam mounting the die cut embossed panel onto what a white card base. Because we kept the inners of the letters, I'm just going back in and adding those back onto the card, adding a little bit of foam behind them to raise them up to match the background. For the die cut letters, I'm using my T-ruler to align the letters up straight on a white card panel and using thin foam strips from Darius to adhere them on for some dimension. And this card panel was trimmed down to have an eighth of an inch border and adhered onto a white card base. So I finished both of those two cards off with some sentiments from the Auto New Leaf Canopy Stump set. For the embossed love die, this was adhered to a white card panel using Gina K Connect glue. Before adhering the die down onto the panel, I added a few score lines with my bone folder and scoreboard just to give some tone on tone pattern to the background. I had unfortunately adhered the panel upside down on my card base so a simple fix was just to trim the panel off at the score line and then just reapply it to a new card base so I didn't have to worry that I was wasting that embossed die cut I could still use it with a simple fix. I finished the card off with a stamp sentiment from the alternate sentiment strips stamp set and for the embossed leaves card I used two sentiments from the W plus nine hello and thanks stamp set just stamping this in VersaFine Onyx Blank Ink. And to make sure I didn't really muck up the stamping, I just used my Misty to ensure that I aligned the sentiment straight. If you've never tried colour blend embossing powders, go out and pick a pot up and have a go. They're so fun to play with and create visually stunning patterns that help accentuate your paper crafts. WOW has a huge range to choose from, so there's one for everybody's style. This was produced as part of my design team work for WOW embossing powders and links are listed below. For 10% discount at the shop, enter the code you see on screen at both the UK and US site. If you're not a subscriber already, why not click that button below along with the bell icon so you'll be notified when my next video is up. Also check out this other video for some more inspiration. Until next time, happy crafting!